At Vigil is our top story. Those who knew and loved Jasmine Foreman gathered at Grassfield High School. The 18-year-old graduated less than a week before she was killed in a terrible accident. To know your sides, Jason Marks joins us now from the school with more. And Jason, very emotional night tonight. Absolutely, Alvita. You know, we're talking about five or 600 friends and family were here tonight. They shared stories and told memories about the young girl. Each of them had their chance to say goodbye. I've had some good days. Sometimes in life, I've had some heat. And I miss him. I miss him so much. To climb. Why would he take my baby cousin from me? We don't know how much we're loved until we're gone. And some sleepless nights. And if love was measured in friendship, 18-year-old Jasmine Foreman had more love than she could ever ask for. If you live the way and respect people and love people the way you were like they're doing back to you, that, that's the key to it all, and that is, and she treated everybody the same. Tonight, Foreman's friends and family are together to celebrate her life, a life taken away too soon. I never thought I would lose my friend, best friend at 18. The 18-year-old 18 just graduated with honors from Grassfield High School in Chesapeake. She was a softball player and had a scholarship to play at Norfolk State. She also had a smile that could light up the room. Everyone loved her. I don't know anyone who hated her, to be honest. Everybody loved her. It's just, I'm just so glad that so many people came to show support. Monday night, Foreman lost her life. Police say she was the victim of a head-on collision, a day her father will never forget. I know this is what she will want me to do. She will want me to be myself, be happy, get around and be light and just continue to enjoy life. But tonight her family knows it's so hard their little girl is unforgettable. To say goodbye. And they say she's smiling from above. To yesterday. Oh, yeah, I believe it. No, no doubt. I know she was. No doubt in my mind. So many people out here tonight. We're talking about friends and family. We're talking about her, her former teammates and also what would have been her future teammates. Members from the Norfolk State softball team were out here. They didn't even know her yet out here. So just a outpouring of support from the community for her family. She'll be laid to rest Monday morning. That's the latest here in Chesapeake. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Dennis Shea was also killed in that crash. Police say that he drove his SUV the wrong way on Moses Grandy Trail and then hit Foreman's car. He was 64 years old.